Give me these. Die. Okay, and with that, die. Good, 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 good. That was a good play. Good play. Die. Ow. Okay, there's literally so many branches. Can we do something with all this? Guys, something. Something, something, something. Okay, good, 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 Miriam. Yes. Yes. Okay. Don't move. You, Audrey, you losers. Ruining everything. And I actually mean ruining everything. This is my quest. This is my story. Everything that exists is at stake. How dare you try to take that for yourself? How dare you try to make it about you? It isn't. Audrey, you're special. <laughs> Miriam's like, what? What? I said you're special. Even if you weren't the hero, I mean. Audrey, you're super strong, and super smart, and really great at everything you do. I get why you were picked to be the hero. You deserve it, but that doesn't mean you have to do it. Being the hero is just a title. You can do whatever you want, and you'd still be special. I really mean it. Let's stop fighting. If you just give up on doing it your way, Maybe you wouldn't be THE hero. But I could learn the Earth Song from the Dream King and stop the world from ending. We could actually save the world. Everyone would be okay. And you'd be a real hero. Okay? That's not enough. <gasps> no! Achievement unlocked. The end. Koei. Koei, why do you ever, ever, ever stop for even one second to think that Audrey is not evil? She's evil. I, I can play right now? But I don't know what's happening. <laughs> the world is ending. Okay, we, we can go up that way, but can we go over this way also? Which way am I supposed to go? Oh, maybe I can't go that way. Oh, I can't go that way. This is really creepy. Everything's getting sucked into a black hole. The world is going to start over again, maybe? Ugh. Oh. It still works. It still works. Okay, Koei. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Is everyone helping me? Just... just the mayor? <laughs> okay! Whoa. Okay! 
Oh my god, everyone's gonna help. Sing! Who's it gonna be? <gasps> Grandma Safi! And the Yetis. <laughs> okay. Crud, I don't remember this mechanic. I don't remember how it worked. Oh, I just go around in a circle, right? Okay. Like this? No, I'm going too fast. Perfect. Okay, now I do the other one, right? How do I do the other one? Crud! Oh, stand near it. Duh. You got this, Koei. Go slow, though, actually. Slow. Okay. Koei, what now? What do we do? Oh, there's more. This one's faster. Beautiful. Is there more? There's more. Okay. Oh. Slow. Okay. The pirates! Oh, the mermaids. Good job, guys. Good job. Beautiful. Ow, ow. Oh, this is the drum one, right? Okay. Crud, I'm horrible at this one. So this one is something about me jumping or something, right? I don't remember. Oh, I'm doing it right, actually. Okay, I got it. Fun! Okay. Ooh! Who's it gonna be in Christmas? I mean, Kiss Mast. M Mom? <laughs> Mom? <gasps> I knew my dad was Santa! Dude! <laughs> I knew it! Okay, Merry Christmas! Like a couple of days late. That's fine. Okay, so this one? And now what? Thi no. This one? This one? This one! Okay, this, this, this? Okay. This is me like playing the Earth song, right? I'm, I'm doing all the parts of the Earth song that I learned. Is it gonna be the sisters? The crater, oh! The band! Show me the band! Yeah! Woohoo! I love how it just completely cuts out the other dude, the new singer. <laughs> okay. This is like the only one that I remember how to do. Something about like strumming this and then. Aha, okay. See, then all that happens. And so then I make each one of these go to a thing, right? Something like that? No? Oh, okay, okay. This needs something or other. This needs this. Why won't it go to this? This goes to this one? Hello? Okay. But this one needs one. And I don't know which one this one needs. Okay. 
You go there. That goes here. This one goes over here. And then this one doesn't have one, though. How do I do this? Oh, never mind. I did it right. <laughs> Okay. The bugs? The bugs, the bugs, the bugs, the bugs? Bugs! Thank you guys, you helped me save the world. You helped save the world. I'm not saving the world. We're all saving the world. Okay, but I don't know what part to do here. You know what I'm saying? You're just saying random gibberish. Okay. Zyshin? Chandash? No. Delphi? What's going on? Oh, all the people! They're at the Crazy Raven and they're all singing with me! <laughs> oh, look, even Ash's mom! I- again? Okay. I can go- I can go again? To save the world? Sure! I'm really bad at this. Here we go. Faster. Beautiful. One over here. Really fast. Can't believe my dad is Santa Claus. No wonder I look like an elf. I said that already, right? <laughs> Did I not know that, though? <laughs> I don't know. That's that's a weird little side story to think about. <laughs> oh. You was there. Can I talk to you again? <laughs> okay. This is the only one I'm good at, even though it probably took me the longest to figure out out of absolutely all of them. But you literally just press the jump button when the filled-in circles are there. Sounds like a camera. <laughs> Am I creating a new world? What, what's happening? <laughs> Who's it gonna be? Like, the scientist? The guitar man? Who? Everybody, probably. <laughs> Everybody! Oh. Look, we, everybody's so musically inclined. The puppy dog is there too. Koei! Oh! I forgot that I named the dog Koei. Just this and this again? Did it not work the first time? Or was I supposed to go back and do that. Okay. Good. Oh, whoa, that's complicated. Okay. That, 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 that. Whoops. <laughs> okay, start over again. What is it? Okay. This. 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 This? Oh. Okay. Let's just follow along. So you went there, then you went there, and then you went here, then here. 
then back to this one, and then to this one, I think. Good. Oh. It's getting really rainbow colored. That's a good sign, right? Okay, there's Zyshin. Or Chandesh. That's Zyshin, right? I can't remember. Chandesh is the one with all the magic, right? Yeah. That's Chandesh. Maybe. I don't know. Wow, that's a lot of people. Ah. Oh, all the monsters. Oh, the, right, the people at the camp. Oh, and the queen. And the king. Okay, I'll do this one again. Sure. It's very confusing. But I always end up doing it anyway, so... Somebody want to come over here? Okay, then somebody want to go down there? Somebody want to go down there? Okay, and then just do this until they all mess up or something? Okay, and then cool. Um, one of you needs to be over here, and one of you needs to be over here. Guys, come on. Float on back this way. Bloop. Nobody wants to... Okay, there. And you? You, 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 you. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. I need that one. Ugh. Come on, I'm singing up. Okay. Good. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, the palace again. Good. Oh, all well, the birds! Bailey! Bailey and Bailey's family! The Baileys! Oh. Well. This looks like a beautiful world. Okay, I guess I'm gonna ring the bell again. Wait. Okay. There we go. Whew. This is all really, really happy, but a lot of the times there's r lots of really, really happy things happening and then it all gets crushed. So I'm still scared. Is Santa in there somewhere? Santa, where are you? Miriam! I was busy looking for Santa. I didn't notice her at first. Miriam. They said the Earth Song had never worked before because, like, everyone didn't believe in it or something like that, right? Or else maybe nobody ever actually finished trying? I don't remember. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm so, 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 so proud of you two. We did it! Right? Did we do it? I thought it was over. We never got the last piece of the Earth Song. I thought so too, but in the end, it didn't matter. When you reached out with your voice, the whole world answered back, and Aya heard you. 
She saw you all working together, just for a moment, and it was just enough to harmonize with her new song. What you sang wasn't the Earth song. It was something special that only you could have done. And even after an infinite infinites of universes beginning and ending and beginning again, I've never seen anything like it. That's why I'm so proud of you two. Nobody ever tried like you did. It wasn't even supposed to be possible. But you made it possible. You changed the rules forever. You gave hope to everything that exists. And that's just so special. <laughs> we gave hope to everything that exists. <sighs> oh! <laughs> It's just the credits! That was beautiful! Can I do anything? I can sing! That's it, guys? I mean, we gotta wait until the end of the credits, obviously. Oh! Hello? Are all the overseers gonna be rebuilt or something? Re- re- imagined? Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hi, how are you? Oh. I can talk to Miriam. I can talk. Oh, dude. Well, we're here. You said you wanted to check in on your friends, right? Just let me know when you're ready to move on. Oh, I get to talk to everybody? Oh, yay! Okay, this is gonna be a really long episode, but I have to- I, I guess I have to do this now, probably. <laughs> I don't remember her voice. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day, but peace talks are finally happening between Chandesh and Rule. If only Hala were still here to see it. I'm keeping her intentions in my heart, and trying to speak in her place here. It's never easy with Mother's stubbornness, but I suppose that was Hala's challenge as well. It feels so bizarre sitting here and talking to the Witch Queen like she's just another person. We spent our whole lives afraid of you. Get over it. I'm not going to live forever. We don't have time for distrust. I need to know my people will have peace after I'm gone. The Sky Temple was destroyed in the monster outbreak. It's too important a place to leave like that. Are you going to rebuild it? Ah, uh, I thought you people wanted the temple. I thought you did. Well, we did. Until it got busted. Maybe we should rebuild it together. Yeah, like a symbol of our truce. That's a splendid idea. It's hard knowing what to ask for here. All we ever really wanted from you was to be left alone, I guess. Leaving alone is what got us into this mess. Where our, communi where our communication died, distrust grew until we lost all concept of your true intentions. Thanks to our Kickstarter backers. Cool. You, Dari. Is that why there's someone named you? Are they get that's that's the hero tier. Witch tier, bard tier. Oh cool. I was wondering if there was like people named after people there, but it doesn't look like it. Okay. We need the promise that we won't be alone anymore. We are here together and that isn't about to change. So if we are to coexist peacefully, we need to work together. Yeah, you guys can do that. I believe in you. It's you! I promised myself if I ever saw you again, I'd capture you and put you back in prison. But now we're in peace negotiations, so your accounts of treason are currently suspended, I suppose! Thanks, dude. Ooh, hello. Boss! You made it back! We were keeping Chandish safe while you were away. It was tough. The monster just got worse and worse. Tough for regular old witches, maybe, but not for us. No, it really was tough, though. Yeah, I guess it was pretty tough. But then, all at once, they just vanished. It was a miracle. They probably gave up after we fought them so hard. Something really special happened, I think. We heard your voice from far, far away. Well, 
more than just your voice. It was something huge, a million voices all at once, like that song you sang to the king and queen. That's how we knew it was you, boss. And all at once, everyone started singing along. It felt really powerful. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. You actually have a really nice singing voice, Son. Oh, thanks. S travel pillow? <laughs> Songbird tear trackers? I mean, backers? <laughs> it looks like the war is ending, so maybe Chandesh won't need protectors anymore. Yep, it's true. We were talking about reti retiring the masks. I'm ready to just be a regular witch again. I'm not yet. We could fight crime here at home. But I couldn't do without you, San. Shucks. <laughs> Shucks. Anybody else? Just a throne. Okay, Miriam, I'm ready to go to the next group of people, I'm assuming. Can I go this way? <laughs> not really. Ready to keep going? Yeah. Let's go. Hello! Yeah, see, all the overseers are like, you know, being good. <laughs> wow! Yeah, a lot of these- maybe not a lot, but some of these overseers I never even saw. They were dead before I got to them. Oh, the whole band is here! Okay. I don't know who to start with. I could pet all of these. Cute! Okay, can I leave? Oh, I have to click through it. Hello again. Did my flower come in handy? You said it was to save the world or something, didn't you? The world's still here, so it must have worked. Ho ho ho. Yeah, it did! My husband gave me that flower many years ago. It was a hardy one. I was protective of it, since it was the last thing I had of him. Oh. But of course, that's not true. I have all of our happy memories together, too. The flower wasn't worth much by comparison. Giving it away felt like the right thing. I was finally able to move on with my life. See, I even left the house. Ho ho ho. I'm sorry that every single old person is going to have one of the old people voices that I used, but probably not the right old person voice. <laughs> I'm in a wonderful mood, the likes of which I haven't been in a long, long time. So I made cookies. I'm sharing them with everyone today. Oh, thank you. Hey, can I sing? Yeah. Sing to all the butterflies? But butterfly? There's one more somewhere, right? Eh. I can't jump up there? Oh. Is there only four? I thought you gathered gather five butterflies together always. No? Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let me keep talking to whoever I'm talking to next. Juan. It was so scary. I thought for sure the world was ending. I'm glad it didn't. Good thing the hero saved us. She's the coolest ever. Hey. She didn't save us, Juan. I wish I met her when she was here. Nobody knows where she is now. Dead, hopefully. She vanished. Okay. I hope she's not dead because Koei still believes in her. Foolishly, probably, but... It's a nice thought that maybe she's changed somewhere. <laughs> I bet she wanted to live like a normal person now that she, the world is saved. She's so humble. Me? I would want to be famous. I really wonder what she's doing now. I want to be strong like her someday. Well, good luck with that. Wayfarer, it's been a time and a half, hey? I'm grateful just to be alive. After all we and the war went through, world went through, I didn't think I'd ever see the capital again. And look, there's witches here now too. Everything's changing so fast. But after so much war, that's a good thing. I think I'm ready for some wayfaring on my own. I'm going to take my banjo and see the world. Any way I can, wayfarer, because there's so much to do and so much to see. So what's wrong with taking a back... <laughs> so what's wrong with taking the back streets... You'll never know if you don't go. Woo! You'll never shine if you don't glow. I want to be like you, Wayfarer. Traveling the world with a song in my heart. Making people happy wherever I go. Yeah, everyone will know I'm coming by the sound of my banjo. And they'll call me by a special name. Like, that guy Phil with the banjo. Yeah, that's the dream. 
Hola, looks like we have a special guest in the audience. Now that the borders are open again, we've hit the road. Or the river with my boat. We're a sailing band. Like pirates? Not really. But look, I got a new accordion. We still remember your song, too. That's right. Would you like to hear it? <laughs> yeah. I would. And a one, two, three, four. I don't know why this singing thing keeps popping up over there. I'm sorry. <laughs> he didn't smash at that time. <laughs> I'm not smashing my accordion this time. It's really expensive. <laughs> thank you for playing heart. Oh, thank you for making. Okay, so is that just going to stay there until I'm done talking to everybody? can't talk to that lady. Who wants to play your song? No, 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 no. Okay. So, I can't talk to anyone else here. Like, those people up there are just in the background. I guess, because I can't jump up there. I don't think I can jump up there. Ready to keep going? Yeah. Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> Hello. Nice to meet you. Hey. Oh, Koei. <laughs> Yay. Who are you? Who's Gabe? Oh, wow. I traveled here on your recommendation. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Remember? But I didn't expect I'd see you again. There's something special about seeing a familiar face in a strange place. I've got to put that in my travel guide. This really feels like a place of change. I can tell the people are struggling. But there's hope for the future. The new lab is the biggest I've ever seen. I wonder what wonderful things they'll discover there. Oh, wow. Winston, my dude. Ah, you came back. Me and Koei are doing so great. We never would have come together without you. Thank you so much. I mean it. She taught me a lot about myself. Nobody in this town ever believed in me before you. But now it feels like everyone does. It's hard feeling worthless. And it's hard when nobody cares about you. Because you can't control if they do. But you can control if you care about other people. Koei gave me someone to care about. I'd never had that before, but once I did, it made me feel so cared for, too. Now that Ilara is opening up a lab, I think I'm going to help out there. I've never done science before, but I want to learn. Being with Ilara makes me feel so special. It feels like we can do anything with her. Aww. Huh? And Koei's a girl! <laughs> Yay! Mama? Doo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. It's my muffin! Are you finally moving back in with Mama? No. What a shame! Your father finally came home after all these years. He settled in completely right away. Now I can't get him to leave. Doo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. I couldn't even make him come out to say hello. That's okay. I don't even remember what he looks like. <laughs> muffin! <laughs> That's too sad for me to even think of. Do -hoo -hoo. You grew up without a father's love. Maybe that's why you turned out like this. <laughs> oh god. Muffin, even if you are very strange, you know your mama loves you, right? I wish I saw you more. And he'd never say it, but I'm sure your father is ashamed for never seeing you. We should all have a meal together someday soon and be a family again. All we have in this world is each other, Muffin. Do hoo hoo. Let's not let each other go. Okay. <sighs> well, ah, uh, oh, okay. Oh, yes, more people. More people down here, too. Okay. 
got a new job now. I'll never have to wear that cruddy happy kid mask again. And I'm finally putting my science degree to use. The factory's a lab now, have you heard? We're developing stuff that's gonna change the world. That's cool. The Baron may have had some wacky ideas about toys, but the guy really knew how to build a production line. His stuff is gonna take us far. This isn't gonna be a crappy factory town anymore. Kismest is gonna be at the forefront of technology. I can feel it. You still look exhausted, dude, though. Maybe you should take a break. <laughs> You've returned. We've been toiling away here. After our quest to destroy the factory, we had to create something to replace it. Miss Astronomer, that is. Ilara. She had such grand vision for the city. I couldn't help but be taken up by it. Cool, dude. I see Miriam is here as well. Part of me wishes to speak with her again, but I suppose things are awkward. Miriam and I are on separate journeys. I can see now that it was never meant to be. If only I'd the wisdom to know it when she did. My heart still burns for her, but in a respectful way. I mean, in a respectful, non-romantic way. <laughs> in the cold, dead city, Kismest once was. Miriam's passion burned loud and bright, but now the people of Kismest are free. And our dreams, which were once frozen beneath the snow, can finally thaw and bloom here once more. It is a new life for uh, all of us here. Dude, you need to work on your melody. It's really, it's really bad. Okay, I don't know why I can still click on his name because he's not saying anything else. Ilara! Ah, my old cohort. How do you do? With the Baron stepping down from the factory, I've seized the means of toy production and repurposed it to be my new laboratory. There is so much machinery in here with so much potential. We could use it to manufacture new technologies to the benefit of everyone. That's my vision for this place. One by one, all the stars went out until none were left. I was watching the sky at that moment. It sent a shiver down my spine. I was sure the world had come to an end. But then, all at once, the sky was filled with completely new stars, new constellations, new galaxies, a new hope for us. I don't know how long our lease on existence has extended, but it made me reconsider what I was doing with mine. That's what brought me here. To here. <laughs> okay, so it is kind of like a new world that we built. They say the stars guide our destinies. That some can be born under a lucky star, and some not. I think it's a load of shark quack. Pardon my language. But there's something poetic about a new sky of stars, isn't there? The old stars that guided us are dead, and now our destinies are in our own hands. We get to decide what will become of this world moving forward. Maybe that was always true. But now I believe it. I hope to create a good future. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, hello. I can't talk to Elmer? Fine. I guess we're done here, Miriam. dude. You're tall. Got big features. The pirates. Captain Lucas. Matey, it's been so long. Have ye been adventuring? We've been on some our own. The mermaids joined our crew now. We sound better than ever, matey. You've got to sing with us again soon. I came into this world with a dream to captain my own pirate ship crew. And when I saw me first mermaid, I had one more dream to see her again. All my life just to make those things real. And now they are. It's something special, matey. I feel blessed every day. This crew's more than a crew. We're a family. A family we all chose together. And now that my dreams came true, I want to foster their dreams. That's what a good captain ought to do. And remember, matey, to this family, you'll always be, like, a weird cousin or something. What I'm saying is, ye can come back any time. We love ye, matey. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Lou. Youngin. Made it back in one piece, ha! Huh? 
I was worried. Didn't think he had it in ye. Kids like you don't go far in this world. At least I thought so. Bet you seen some things now. Maybe you're crusty o Maybe you're crusty as old Lou now, eh? No, ye definitely ain't. I ain't one to leave the ship much, but the sky's putting on quite a show today. Ain't ever seen something like it. Ye gotta be grateful for life's miracles. Penny! The bard of 2700 beans is back. Business has been going well. While those bozos have been worrying about mermaids, I've been keeping our bean flow strong. Money isn't gonna make itself. I mean, I haven't been all business, but mostly. I care so much about this crew, I want them to have good lives, you know? That's why I gotta be the one to keep her eyes on the beans. I like my job. Kept us going this long. It's so great to see you again. You've gotta have a coffee with the crew later. Or, uh, oh, uh, right. You and coffee don't mix so well, do you? Well, I've heard about this new thing called decaf. If you like terrible things. <laughs> Francisco, my man. Why, if it isn't the silly one, back for more, huh? Just kidding. The truth is... This whole crew's as silly as they come. I've been fooling myself, denying the obvious truth. It's good to have you back. That's not his voice at all. So actually, I've been thinking about quitting coffee. Yeah, I don't sleep great on it, and it makes me feel anxious all the time. I haven't even had any today yet. The sky's exploding with glowing stars, so it hasn't been too hard to stay awake. Okay, this is the only mermaid that I can talk to. Whoa! Me and my girls are taking over this ship! No more hiding on our secret island for us! We're adventurers now! It's pretty great. I didn't give any of the mermaids voices. The captain is an alright guy, turns out. He was really weird when we first met, but he kind of chilled out. I like his pirate persona. And I also like being a pirate. It's a cool new direction for us. What's next for us? I don't know. I'd like to travel the world, see something besides just ocean. I hear there's these other ocean types called, like, rivers or lakes or something. Those sound pretty chill. Bloop! Fish King! <laughs> If I talk to the pirates, does that mean I don't get to talk to you again? Aw, man! Where's you? I can't believe Delphi's still here. When we left, it really seemed like it was over for this place. I'm glad. I went and visited my mom's grave. I wish I could talk to her again. I've been around the world now, playing my accordion, just like her. And I think I'm getting pretty good, too. I, I wish I could show her. I wonder what she would think of all of it. The world changed somehow. Didn't it? There was a time when everything was bleak, and it felt like all the spirits of the world were close. But it's not like that now. It feels more... stable now. Peaceful, even. I don't feel the same fear I used to, but I do miss feeling her so close. Well... I know she's still out there. I just hope I make her proud. Ace! Who knew we'd find each other again in Delphi? We didn't think we'd ever be back here. And you neither. But a miracle's happened. Delphi's shining brighter than ever. And we're back from an adventure around the world. It feels like the spirit is back. We're gonna play some shows here they never forget. Looks like your journey's about over too, eh? You've gotta sing with us again. What do you say? Totally, but not right now. I haven't been home in forever. I want to have some rest, but I promise I'll be back. I'll hold you to that, Ace. The whole band misses you like crazy. I couldn't stay out of Delphi for too long. She's my town. She gave me so much growing up. Maybe I've been all over the world now, but I would have taken. I wouldn't have gone anywhere if not for her. I owe a lot to this place, and I'm gonna keep giving back. Because I'm sure somebody out here needs my help, too. Feels good to be back in Delphi. It's the same classless dump as before, but I've gone through a transformation. I played my heart out on the world stage. I've soared like an eagle. Being here reminds me of how far I've come. 
I have to thank you again for bringing the band together. Manny's rough around the edges, but he gets gigs. And Ash is a downer, but their accordion sings like an angel. And then there's me. We make such a great team together. You'll sing with us again someday too, won't you? Yes, I already said I would. <laughs> We're having a bit of a comeback tour here, back in the Crazy Raven again. Oh, it's so perfectly full circle. And after that, who knows? It feels like we could go anywhere now. I'm sure we will. I can't talk to the youth? Okay, well, at least they're doing well. Jeb! Hello again. Remember that? It's the melody you wrote for my candy shop, Skipper. I wrote some new lyrics in case I ever saw you again. It brought the kids into the shop like crazy, just like I wanted. Thank you. Uh-huh. Cool. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. You're just saying the same thing. Uh, ooh. Fragic. Ooh, leaves. Okay. Oh, you... The performer from the Crazy Raven, isn't it? The one who got us together. Cool seeing you again. It's been a real roller coaster here. I think the world almost ended. I don't know if I would have managed without Frederick to talk me through it. So, thanks. It's true, and I don't know where I'd be without Sue. She taught me so much. I'm trying to be less critical now. You are a kind person, and I appreciate you. How did I do? <laughs> Thanks, dude. I appreciate your effort. Bird. Bird, 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 bird. Bird, 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 bird. Grandma Safi. Ooh, the trolls. Oh, the human. The okay human. We've met some more okay humans. This witch kept us safe when the world fell apart. We're starting to think humans might just be okay. Only just starting, though. They might still be terrible. I think they're okay. It's hard to forgive what ha has happened to us. That human was definitely terrible. With the scarf and the lightning sword. Ah... Uh... I think I know who you're talking about. You know that one? They're so bad. Mm, humans aren't really like that. I promise. Or definitely not all like that. Sometimes we can be real jerks, but there's good ones too. Please don't give up on us. Oh, it's so good to see you. Miriam's told me so much about you. She did? Oh my, yes. She cares about you so much, and you made her feel a kind of warmth she never had before. She might never tell you that, but it meant so much to hear that from her. She's such a lonely girl, you know. Thank you for being there for her. I had no idea I'd ever see you two again. Of course, I hoped. But the situation was so hopeless. All I really wanted was for Miriam to see the world and make a friend, before she lost the chance to ever do those things. I'm so much more grateful for that than I am for the world being saved. Oh. I knew right when we met that you were someone special. This world can be so dark. We need people with the courage to smile and to look out for the lost and lonely. There are so many out there who need help, like Miriam. We all need a bit of love. <laughs> Grandma Safi. Oh. Okay. I'm ready to keep going. Am I going to finally go home now? Oh. What? You're leaving just like that, Miriam? After bringing your friend all this way? That simply won't do. Ask if they'd like to stay for dinner. <laughs> you want to stay and have dinner with us? That sounds nice. Okay. Mmm, yum, yum. Great meal, Miriam. Grandma Safi, you really know how to make a stew. I don't know. Trying to be polite. Wow. Oh, there I am, back on my broom. So I didn't get to go home home? What happens now? Mm. Okay. Wow, 
what's so pretty? So, this is goodbye, huh? Just for now. But we're gonna hang out all the time, right? I hope so. Oh. I'm tired. Me too. But I don't know who's saying which part. <laughs> we came a really long way together, didn't we? Yeah. Thanks for saving the world with me. Yeah. I think I'm saying the wrong parts. Thanks for being my friend. I don't know. It's meaningful either way. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye! Whoosh. Miriam! <laughs> okay, but I have to go this way. Like, I can go inside, but I'm also supposed to go over here, right? Uh, but I... Okay, is the bird... Is the bird over here? The bird is supposed to help me. Yes. Oh. Okay, wait. What? 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 I forgot that you guys had a pattern. So there's nothing this way, right? It's overgrown. Okay. So we go... No. Okay. Whew. What's gonna be over here? Whee! Got an achievement at the beginning of the game that I had found a secret and I was supposed to come back later. Well, I'm here now. <gasps> Ooh! Do I sing that? Okay, I think I sing that. No, I don't know how to sing it. The the it all changes. <sighs> um, how do I? What do I? Oh no, I don't know what to do. Grandma Safi, help me. What does it mean? What is the point of it? I don't understand. Do, 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 wapa, do, pa, do. This way? This way. This way. Uh, this way. And then that again. And then that. And then over here. Ah, uh, crud. It's the last, final stinking secret of the game, and I don't know what to do about it. If I could do this, would I, like, talk to, like, the rainbow girl again or something? What would happen? Crud! I, I don't know. I guess I'll go inside now. Go home. Crud! We're gonna, you, you're gonna have to look... Koei sleeping? <laughs> Okay, go look up that secret ending thing for yourself, because <laughs> I gotta go look it up too. At least I remembered about it, I just didn't know what to do. You can now access scene select. Perfect. I think there's a dance move I missed somewhere. <laughs> okay. I- oh. Okay. Why can I do this? Thanks. How do I- how do I quit? Scene select! Okay. Well, that's it, guys. I guess. Scene select. This is adorable. Oh, this is so cute! Okay, wait, so what is this? Right here. Like, why is there a castle there? Is that because I've missed something here? Is this the only place that I've missed something? I know I've missed a dance move. I just didn't know where. But is that why there's something here? This is already far too long 
of an episode. But I guess let me just try this real quick, guys. A high up spot in the desert far from here. If you find it, well, I better not say. It's for you to discover. So yes, if I go back outside onto the map. Right? Okay, I've collected all these butterflies. Maybe I'm supposed to catch all collect all these butterflies just like I thought. Hey. Yeah, I can't talk and sing at the same time. Don't get us lost in the wrong kingdom rules back the other way. I know, I know, I know. Okay, but I have all of these butterflies now. So maybe I can use them to help me jump? Somewhere up really high? On the map? I don't know. Oh wait, the butterflies don't help you jump. The butterflies get things down for you, right? I don't know where to apply the butterflies. This is the desert though, right? Now we're in the de- Oh! Yes! But I've known you've- But I've known about that stupid leaf up there this whole time! I- I tried that before! Okay, so now I can- I can go there, or what? What did I just make happen? Where am I? Okay. What? I- I've tried that before. Perfect. Hello. Hey, now, Wander, you did good finding me here. I can feel it. Your soul, your dance power. It's been growing all along, Wanderer. You dug deep and found the dance sleeping within. I'm proud to have shepherded you on that journey now one last time. Let's dig deep, all the way to the bottom, for one. Okay, so you find the dances in order? You don't find the dances, like, each different place has a dance? Okay. Because he's, he's considering it's the last dance. Final dance. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Are you kidding me? Koei, beautiful dance wanderer. You've come so far on this journey into dance, I don't have more to show you. From here on, you've got to keep digging on your own. But don't stop digging, wanderer. Don't forget about dance. This is precious! This is the dance that they do in that Phineas and Ferb episode! <sighs> oh my god. Okay. So, now I can go back to scene select and that is gone. Okay, so that was what that was marking. So, the only thing I don't know how to do is the thing at the very end. This part. I'm sorry, guys. I just don't know how to do it. Oh, hey, some of the names are the same, actually. Because Sibhan, or Sibohan, however you say that name, they were a person, too, in the game. You maybe just got to name a person if you were on a certain tier, and so people didn't, not everyone picked their own name, but some people did. Okay, I had to do that all over again. <sighs> because I, um, I looked up how to do this, guys. And I want to do it because I don't know if it's different for every person. I didn't look up what it is or anything. I just looked up how to do it. And I'm kind of an idiot for not realizing that that was how you did it. But here we go. So you come over here. You get the constellation. Give me the constellation. Okay, perfect. And then I have to sing according to the color. So a star is yellow, obviously. And then the water drop is green. The swirly vortex is purple. Sun is orange, moon is blue, triangle is red, moon is blue, um, and then the swirly vortex is purple? I don't think I did it right. Okay. Let's try again. Yellow, teal, purple, orange, blue, pink, I mean red, <laughs> blue, purple. No? Come on, y'all said that was how I did it. And by y'all, I mean the internet. <laughs> okay, guys, I think I'm an idiot. Uh, I mean, I know I'm an idiot. But, um... I might have... Okay. So what you actually have to do, I think... Each... Each thing does have a different... Color assigned to it. 
But I don't think that's the point. The point is that I have a song here. Okay? This is- I've been to the end of the world. I've seen this song. This is my song. Every song is different, apparently. And so, okay, there. I just wrote it down. Now I have to actually not be here. I have to go back to the beginning when I first found that place. And they say return here after you've been to the end of the world or seen the end of the world or something like that. Right? So I actually have to go back there and sing the song there. I think. So not the prologue. This one. Okay. Uh... Whoa, I totally don't remember Koei looking like that. That was weird. He has hair? <sighs> okay, can I skip through this, guys? It's been a long, long, long time that I've been recording this. Let's just, you know, oh, I have to go this way because I need the bird. I will get this secret, guys. Hey, dude. How's it going? Um. Oh. That's it? <laughs> okay. Do you say anything? How are my dreams last night? I don't remember. They can be so easy to lose, can't they? Well, no worries. It's a beautiful morning. The birds are singing. What about you going to see the ghosts? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it, I get it. So, he talks about dreams right since the start. The mask dude. Okay. I got this. Whee! It actually takes you to a different screen. than right. Okay, there's a cat here. Meow. Password, please. Okay, I got it. The password is... Yellow. Teal. Purple. Orange. Uh, blue. Red. Blue. Purple. Haha! <laughs> Meow. You solved it. <laughs> cool. Thanks. So, uh... What now? Whoa. Uh... Okay, bye! Uh Wow, hi Koei. How's it going? I oh I can move. And I can still dance. Okay. Oh Oh my god, are these like developers or something? Oh dude, I do not have time for this. Okay, but there's no point in me making another episode that doesn't have, like, gameplay in it, so I have to keep it all in one episode. <laughs> oh, hey. You're here. My name's Gord. I did the music for Wander Song. Greg helped me write a lot of the songs, though. Emro one, too. The campfire one. I bet you liked it. I liked all of them. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This game was tough. As soon as I agreed to work on it, I was like, what have I done? But I knew I really wanted to work with Greg, and that anything he was gonna make was gonna be good. And I guess I must have been feeling like I wanted a challenge? I don't actually remember. But I knew early on there was a pretty big chance I was going to burn out or screw up or run out of music to write. This game has so much music. It scared the crap out of me. But hey, you're here. And I'm here. We made it. Cool. 2017 was a hard year for me. Something I thought I knew was true my whole life turned out not to be so true after all. The world has been so angry. And though I started on Wander Song before then, it suddenly became a whole lot more important to invert cynicism for once in my life. I am cynical. I like cynical things. <laughs> to contribute to something whose sole purpose is to make people happy, but not like shallow happy, like a sitcom or whatever, really happy? To shine a little light for people whose lives are feeling truly dark. I'm feeling way better now, by the way. This is the biggest soundtrack I've ever done. It might be the biggest soundtrack ever. It will probably be the biggest I'll ever do. It's like four and a half hours long. The plan was to be really minimalist so we'd finish and uh, I stuck to the plan until like halfway through act two and then nothing was minimalist. I'm super bad at minimalism. I recorded live performances on 24 different instruments in this game. I have no idea how many digital instruments are used. A lot. 
<laughs> Dude, that's incredible. Oh, and you know that last big song at the end of the game? The one where everyone sings together? We got a choir for that. But not like a real choir. I just asked Twitter who wanted to sing for us. That's awesome! 75 people sang for us. Some had, some people had fancy mics. Some people sang into their phones and laptops. Some people sang beautifully. Some people didn't. <laughs> but everyone tried. And everyone cared. And that is what Wander Song is about. Everybody trying. Everybody caring. And making something beautiful together. Even if it's not something you're... Even if it's not something you don't think you're good at. And everyone that said, my voice is terrible in that choir was flat out wrong. <laughs> Look at that girl just <laughs> dancing away over there. The same week I started working on that song, my wife and I found out we were having a baby. Oh, I don't know when you're reading this. We're due March 4th, 2019, so we may or may not have had it yet. Nope, probably not. <laughs> It's almost 2019. I really hope it goes okay. Congratulations, my dude. And hey, you're here. And I'm here. We made it. Is this going in a loop? Oh, okay. We're just people that made this game. You can do cool stuff too. Just try. And care. See ya. See ya, dude. What, Greg? No, Greg is the other person. Gord. I hope that's your name. I'm- I- I don't listen to people's names. I'm horrible. You found us! Yay! I'm Em. I did all the sound design in this game, which means I recorded and edited voices, ambience, ambiences, footsteps, and a whole bunch of silliness. I'm really grateful to have had the chance to be part of Wandersong. I think it's really special, and I'm so happy to have helped to add something to positive to this world. I'm also super grateful that you've taken time to play it. I hope you've enjoyed listening. We all put a lot of energy and love into how this game sounds. I think it's a really important part of storytelling. And that I can add so much value to listen. I don't think I read that right. <laughs> so it means a lot to me to have been able to work with Greg, who really cared about it. Right from the start. We had a lot of fun making it together. It feels crazy now to be letting it all go. All I hope in the end is that you've kept some of the feeling that we shook out of our hearts. I hope that it feels good does feel good, and you guys should make another game together. <laughs> Wonder Song was the first game I worked on. Wah! Phone's ringing. Way back in 2016, it's what got me started in indie games. I've worked on a few since then, but this one has been my biggest constant. It's also the one closest to my heart. The theme that Greg explores really resonates with me, and I think they're super important ideas to spread right now. So it's been wonderful to contribute to that. For me, it's pretty interesting to look back from the beginning all the way to the end, and hear how the sound changes. It was really easy to grow with this game, because we made each act a different theme sonically. There was a lot of experimentation. Time for some fun facts! Ooh, cool! There are 5,084 sounds. That's a lot for an indie game. Greg and I voice most of the characters. Oh, that's cool! Most of the sounds are recorded, so many of those sounds are my voice. A lot of the ambiences shift depending on where you are. That's cool, too. Okay, wait, so <laughs> who did the sounds for Koei sleeping? Because that's like my favorite sound in the whole game. <laughs> there are so, so many silly details. So silly. Well, thanks for listening. <sighs> this is great. And I know I'm not saying very much about like the actual like end of the game and whatnot, but not much needs to be said. It's all so like, beautiful and perfect, and I think we should just leave it that way. I loved it. Hey, I'm Greg. I made this game. It's really great to meet you. Did you really figure out how to get here yourself? No, I did not. I, Greg, here, okay. Are you listening, Greg? Let me tell you something. I, I knew almost all of it, okay? Just because I looked up the different colors on the internet and then also looked up the fact that I was supposed to come back to the actual beginning, I at least knew that I was supposed to check this place. That counts for something, right? It probably doesn't count for anything, Greg. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you look it up on the internet? Um, we already went through this, but just a little bit. It's okay if you did. Either way, I have a lot to say to you. I'm really touched that you came this far. From the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you. Thank you for playing. This game means a lot to me. I put a lot of love, thought, and effort into it. And it's really special to make something like that and share it with someone. I genuinely hope you enjoyed it. As I'm writing this, I have no idea what will happen when the game comes out. I don't know how many people will ever play it. 
or if anyone will ever even find this message. But if there's even one person who cares about the game, that makes it worth it to me. So I guess it's not just thanks for playing, but thanks for caring. I hope someday you can make something too and share it. It's so important to express yourself, and the world needs to hear your voice. You can do it. You are special. And you deserve love. I really believe that. We never saw Audrey at the end, either. Now that I think of it. Like, because I was upset that I didn't get to see you again. But we also don't see Audrey. You can hang out here as long as you want. If you keep chatting with me, I'm going to talk about what it was like making the game. If that's interesting to you at all. I mean, it is, but I don't know how... <laughs> Okay, you know what? Why don't we just make this whole stinking two-hour episode or something? <laughs> Before I started Wandersong, I lived on my bicycle for five months and rode across the USA. Wow. Along the way, I met lots of people and did something I didn't think I could. I was feeling really optimistic about life and humanity, and I wanted to make a game that expressed that. The first thing I made was the rainbow music wheel. Just that, floating in an empty void. I wanted to make a controller into a musical instrument and make it feel as natural and fun as possible. When I saw it worked, more ideas started coming to me, then started pouring like a waterfall. It took me a while to nail down the story. I had a plot in mind for a while, but it was missing something. Then I had an epiphany one day, and the idea of the Earth Song came to me. I remember crying a little bit when it did. That was the key to unlocking the shape of the story. My original plot idea became just Act 5, and the world of Wandersong started to take shape. Act 1 came together within a few months. I've made countless changes to it since then. But it was basically the same as now. My friends played it and thought it had potential. What I needed was sounds and music. I tried recording my voice to make all the sounds, and I wrote some songs too, but the game was asking for better than I could give it. Simply put, I realized the audio had to be amazing, which meant I needed money. So I put it on Kickstarter. The response on Kickstarter was really wonderful. Everyone was so enthusiastic. The game quickly had more fan art than anything else I'd done. There were many musicians asking to work with me. It felt very special. Even so, I didn't know if I'd make it until the very end. And when I did, it felt like a miracle. Every step of the way, I felt like I was doing something a little too big for myself. And then just narrowly making it. It felt powerful. I met Gordon through some friends. His music for Parkitect had a really good vibe. Parkitect? I just saw Parkitect on Steam today. I think. That's really weird. I don't ever look on Steam, but there was a game on my Steam wish list on sale today because of the Steam winter sale, and so I went to Steam. And I was scrolling through, and I just saw the title, Park Attack. And I was like, oh, ha, ha, that's funny. But I didn't even click on it or anything. Dude. Okay, that's really weird. <laughs> he believed in Wander Song, despite the modest funds and huge idea. And he was local, so we could work closely together. After a long search, I'd found my musician. M was his first hiree, and Wander Song was her first game. She brought so much enthusiasm into the game. It bowled me over. Enthusiasm, not enthusiasm. <laughs> So we got to work. We made the game almost perfectly sequentially, act by act. I would rush ahead developing gameplay and writing scenes, then M would breathe life into the game with audio. Gord was busy at first with other commitments, but he did eventually catch up. It took almost two years to work to the ending of the game, and then more months of refining, polishing, and fixing. I could talk forever about this. It took over my entire life for three years, but we're going to stop here for now. Thanks for listening. We went and added some commentary notes to scenes in the game. Look out for those if you want to learn more. And... Thanks for playing! It really means so much to me. More than I can put into words. <laughs> That's awesome! So you can, if you re-look at different scenes, there's commentary notes now? That's... So cool. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing else here. <sighs> wow. Guys, that was great. And thank you for staying here the whole time, watching the whole thing, and if you watched this entire episode. I mean, there's a small, small chance that I cut it up into different episodes. Um, but I'm, I'm hoping I can just leave it as a big chunk. And so if you watched this whole thing, 
that's crazy. But thank you guys so much for watching. So, 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 so much. And I will see you in the next series, I guess. Bye-bye now. Bye, Koei. Bye.